Hello, my name is Giles, and today we're going to have a look at creating ripples uh, as water effects. So, uh, I've got this image here, and if you're interested on how we got to this stage, then uh, have a look at the magazine uh, in the tutorial there. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to merge all these layers upwards, and the shortcut for that is Control or Command Shift plus Alt plus E. And uh, what that'll do is it'll, there we go, it's merged everything down here into one layer. So the next thing we need to do is zoom in so we can hold down control or command in the space bar as a shortcut and we want to try and create a nice little ripple around these legs. Now uh, the way this works is to first of all grab the marquee tool and then we want to actually make uh, a rough selection uh, and put the uh, leg in the middle uh, and then what we're going to do is hold down command or control and C to copy and then we're going to go to a new document file new and we're going to OK that and then we're going to do control or command and V. Uh, the reason I've done this is because the filter we're about to use only works uh, in the center so if we try to apply it globally uh, it would just create ripples bang in the middle and not where we need them so it's a little bit tenuous but this is the uh, workaround um, so we're now going to go to filter and distort and uh, we're going to choose zigzag and zigzag is quite a fun little filter it's got a couple of options here at the bottom uh, you can see pond ripples around the center and out from the center um, they all do slightly different things and you can see from this grid how they work so um, let's try this one out from the center um, and then we turn up the amount and the ridges and we can see that works quite nicely so let's try another one upon ripples oh, that's quite dramatic um, so let's let's try something like this and we're going to ok that and uh, we're then going to um, hold down con control or command and we're going to copy that again control and command C and then we go back to our original and we're going to create a new layer above and we, we're, because the selection is still active we can paste it in the middle um, so that's not so bad uh, we can then um, do control command T and do free transform like so uh, to give the angle we want because at the moment it's completely the wrong angle then press enter um, and then we can add a layer mask down the bottom here um, so we click on I'm just going to move there we go that's actually the wrong layer that's the layer click on that and then what we can do is use a paintbrush let's go to a default one so a small brush and then we can zoom in and paint in black just over the areas that we want to bring back bring up the opacity um, right so that's not bad but I think we can improve on this um, the reason being um, the, the, why it's looking rather subtle is because we haven't got a lot of contrast uh, to work with here so um, for this side we're going to try something a bit different um, we're going to just uh, create a new layer and this time what we're going to do is do the marquee tool and we're going to do the elliptical marquee and then we're going to select white as the foreground color and then a feather radius of around about five and then we're going to draw a ring round here and we're going to go to edit stroke and we're going to choose five pixels around the center OK and deselect which is Apple, uh, sorry, Apple or control control D and then we're going to draw another larger one like that and then edit stroke again okay uh, that's actually gone into that so turn that one off for a minute now what that's going to do is give uh, the filter a bit more sort of contrast to work with which should uh, hopefully give us uh, a little bit more of a dramatic ripple effect so um, as this is on a new layer we actually need to merge it so we're going to shift click the previous layer and then we're going to go control or command E to merge and then once again we're going to select the elliptical marquee there we go we're going to draw around like that notice I've still got the feather on this is quite handy although we can use a mask afterwards um, it just obviously softens the edges when we bring it back in 
So once again, um, we're going to uh, copy, file new, new document, paste it in, and then we're going to go back to the filter. Um, we'll, we'll go in here and have a little play. Uh, and you can see straight away we've got uh, a little more interesting effect going on. Um, and then if we play around with the others, you can see how they work. So let's let's stick with the ripples uh, for now. Um, you can also reapply a lot of these filters over the top. So if I press uh, press it again, you get it's even more distorted. But we'll go back. We'll work work with that. So we're going to copy this. And then we're going to go back to our other documents so I can do control command tab and then I'm going to go control command V uh, and then I'm going to actually um, before I do that I'm actually going to get rid of this because I don't want that anymore so I'm going to go control out and Z uh, keep going there we go um, and what that does is it's just a shortcut for stepping back in the history uh, and then I'm going to do edit um, paste and for, yep. and then we're going to just move that, use a move tool, move it into place uh, let's just take down the opacity that help line it up in the middle there we go, uh, that's pretty good and then we're going to use the free transform again bring this down uh, just to give us an idea of where it sits well in the pond in terms of angles so let's let's go with something roughly like that but you get the idea um, and then we're going to finish off just by tidying things up by adding a mask again um, and then we're going to choose a paintbrush B and then we're going to just paint away uh, the areas that we don't need in front of the legs and then maybe a couple of these bits here and again it's quite subjective so so there we go and um, so that gives us a much more dramatic ripple uh, than the first one we can barely see that one I mean it, it is there but um, so let's just turn that one off again and if that's too bright all you can do is just knock it back so we can just take the opacity down here like so to give us a rather nice ripple effect so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to check out the uh, Photoshop creative forums and I'll see you all again soon